Hello everyone, welcome to Public Net. So in this video we will learn how to integrate Shopify and Zoho inventory. So our use case is pretty simple. When a new product is added in Shopify, it will automatically create an item in Zoho inventory. Now Shopify is an awesome e-commerce platform where you can sell your stuff. And Zoho inventory is an online inventory management system. So what we are going to do is, we are going to send the data from Shopify to Zoho inventory. But there is one minor problem. Of course, there is some kind of integration between Shopify and Zoho Inventory. But this native integration is actually very limited. So in cases like these, we need to bring a third app to properly connect them both. So in this video, we will be using Public Connect to integrate Shopify and Zoho Inventory. And the best part of using Public Connect is, there is no need for coding skills or programming knowledge. It can be done easily. Let me show you on my screen. Okay, so to begin the process, first type pabli.com in your browser. pabli.com, press enter. Okay, so this is the website of pabli.com. Here hover on products. And at the bottom, you will find the option called as connect. Click on connect. And then just click on sign in. Okay, so this is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. As you can see, I already have made an account in Pabli Connect. You can also create your own free account in just 2 minutes. Here I would like to mention one more thing that Pabli Connect offers a plan where this integration can be tried out absolutely free. So you just have to clone the template of its workflow which is available in the description box. Once you clone the template, you will get immediate access to this amazing workflow in your account. Ok, so scroll down and at the bottom you will find connect. Just click on access now. Ok, so at the top right corner you will find a button, create workflow, click this. A dialog box appears in front of you. It is asking you to give a name to this workflow. I am going to give it as Shopify to Zoho Inventory. Shopify to Zoho Inventory. Okay, so just click on create. So when you click on create, a window appears in front of you. This is called as the trigger window. So in the choose app, how about we make it as Shopify. 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 Okay, this one. Now in the trigger event, how about we make it as new product. Okay, so new product is basically a trigger event. So your obvious question is, what is a trigger event? Trigger is basically a if statement. It asks a question, if the condition is met, what should be done? For example, if a new product is uh, created, then what action should be taken by the system? Actually, there are many more trigger events like new product, new customer, new order, new checkout, new collection. All of them are a bunch of trigger events. Now in case, if you don't find the trigger of your choice, you can make a request to our team at admin at the rate for the specific trigger that you want to build. But at present, I just want to send the data when a new product is made in Shopify. Okay, so basically at this point, we are just trying to integrate Shopify to Pabli Connect. So let's have a visit to Shopify. So this is my Shopify account. Here in the left bottom, you will find the option called as settings. Click on settings. Okay, so this is the settings page. Here click on notifications. Okay, so this is my notifications page. Scroll down and here at the bottom you will find the option called as webhooks. Just click on create webhook. Okay, so a dialog box appears in front of you. So in the event, how about we make it as product creation. Product creation, this one. Product creation, product creation. Now the format will remain same. Now comes the most important part, the URL. So to get the URL, let's go to Public Connect and copy this. This is the webhook URL you want. Copy this and simply paste it here. Okay, so now the API version will remain same. And just click on save webhook. Okay, so it is showing the webhook has been saved successfully. So basically this means that we have integrated Shopify to Public Connect. This means whenever a product is made in Shopify, Public Connect has to capture the data. So as to ensure that Public Connect captures this data, let me go to Public Connect and let me click on this button, Capture Webhook Response. Okay, so it is showing it is waiting for the data. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a dummy product. So I'm just clicking on Product and just go to this part called as Add Product. Okay, so we are going to build a product. So uh, the product is uh, is uh, Sony Mobile Y. Okay, and the description, I'm not mentioning any description, nor I'm uploading any image uh, for the media. The price of the product is uh, 100 or I mean 1000. And uh, the 
compared price is uh, the price at which we are offering is 900 cost per item can be ignored okay and uh, the stock keeping unit we have uh, 10 of them okay uh, we are not making tax on this we are not charging tax on this product so i have unchecked it and then uh, okay so uh, there is something else uh, we can actually go with the product type as mobile and the vendor as uh, sony if we have sony okay so we don't have any sony phone okay as vendor as uh, sony so it can be ignored so basically we are ready to uh, just create a product just click on save okay so a product called as sony mobile y has been created since Public Connect is integrated with Shopify, let us check whether it has captured this data or not. So let me go to Public Connect. Okay, so as you can see, the data has been captured. So the product is uh, Sony Mobile Y. Okay, and where is the prices? So this is the price. This is the usual price. And this is the price uh, we are offering. And uh, this is the time at which it was created. So basically, we have got sufficient detail to create an inventory in Zoho inventory. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just clicking on this plus button. Okay, so when you click on this plus button, another window opens up. This is called as the action window. So in the choose app, how about we make it as Zoho inventory, Zoho inventory, this one. Okay, so now in the action event, how about we make it as create an item. Okay, so just click on connect with Zoho inventory. But before we do that, let me tell you something. Uh, these are all bunch of action events we have for Zoho inventory. So one is uh, create contact, create invoice, create order, such contact, all of them. All of them are bunch of uh, action events. Now, just like the triggers, if you don't find the action event according to your choice, you can make a request to our team at admin at the rate babri.com to custom build an action event for you but at present i just want to create an item in zoho inventory so just click on connect with zoho inventory so in the new credentials just again click on connect with zoho inventory okay so now it is uh, demanding the domain so as you can see let me go to zoho inventory this is my zoho inventory so this is my domain zoho.com so i'm just selecting this copying this and just pasting it here okay so we have entered the domain just click on done Okay, so when you click on done, Public Connect is demanding access to Zoho inventory. So before you click on accept, let me tell you something. Pabri Connect doesn't take any chances with your data. Your data is 100% safe and secure with us. Okay, so on the basis of that trust, just click on accept. Okay, so it is showing the authorization is successful. Just click on OK. Okay, so now in the organization, it is showing digital industry. And when we expand this, we have... Uh, Three more industry, two more industry, that is Threadmills Union and Pabli Book. Okay, so your obvious question is what is going on? So to explain you that, let me take you to Zoho Inventory. And uh, these are the organizations we have. So where are the organization? Threadmills Union and Pabli Book. So what I'm going to do here is to explain you better, I'm going to create one more organization. I'm just going to click on Manage. Click on New Organization. Now I will set up myself. Okay, so uh, the organization name is uh, Stack Up. Okay, so just a random organization. I'm just trying to explain you the process. Uh, the industry is agency or sales house. Okay, the business location is India. The state is Andhra Pradesh. Okay, okay, so just uh, click on Get Started. Okay, so a new organization called as uh, Zoho Inventory, a uh, stack up has been created in Zoho Inventory. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to public connect and I'm going to refresh this. So when we refresh this, you can expect to find the one of the organization as stack up. So this is because uh, public connect is now integrated with Zoho Inventory and uh, any variation or any data that is uh, present here will be reflected here. So let me refresh this. Okay, and let's expand this. Okay, so as you can see, we have an organization called a stack up. Okay, so I'm selecting this one. Okay, so let's start mapping. So let me introduce you to this button. This is called as the mapping button. Click this. Okay, so in the item name, the item name is uh, Sony Mobile Y. Okay, so the description can be left blank. Okay, now in the SKU, uh, we have to follow a certain pattern. So uh, we just have to copy this uh, code SK. We have copied it and just paste it here and then we have to map the number so the number is 10 i guess sku that is 10 excellent okay so uh, in the unit we just have to copy this quantity copy this and just paste it here okay now the item type uh, there are choices like sales purchase sales and purchases i am keeping it as inventory the product type there is service and there is good i am keeping it as goods 
so this is the rate it is uh, the market rate the market rate was a thousand i guess okay so the market rate was thousand yes and the purchase rate that's the rate that we are offering that is 900 okay so 900 okay so basically we have uh, filled all the details sufficient enough to create an item in zoho inventory so just click on save and send test request okay so the api response is showing the data has been sent to zoho inventory so let's have a look so i'm going to click on items click on items okay so as you can see there is an item called as sony mobile y excellent okay so the presence of uh, this uh, inventory this item in uh, zoho inventory shows that we have successfully integrated shopify and zoho with zoho inventory with help of public connect so how about we double check if our integration is working fine or not but before we do that let me show you the whole mechanism in a nutshell so i'm going back to public connect and i'm minimizing my action window and i'm minimizing my trigger window okay so basically this is the whole process in a nutshell first you integrated shopify to public connect and then you have integrated public connect to zoho's inventory so now there is a perfect flow of data between shopify and zoho inventory okay so what we are going to do here is we are just going to create one more product okay so all products add product okay so uh, let's check what are the companies we have okay lg okay we have lg okay so this time the product is uh, lg tv okay so the description i'm keeping it as empty i'm not uploading any image uh, then we have the price the price is uh, 2000 and uh, the price we are offering is uh, 1600 okay so uh, sku is uh, 20 okay uh, of course uh, we are not charging any tax so we are removing that uh okay okay then we have uh, that type the product type is uh, what was the product lg tv so do we have any product related to tv tv okay then we have uh, the vendor as lg okay so uh, we are done making the product so just click on save okay so a product has been made called as lg tv so let's have a look in zoho inventory whether we have a product called as uh, lg tv so i'm refreshing it okay so after refreshing it you can find the product that is lg tv and the stock keeping unit is 20 excellent so our integration is working absolutely fine this means whenever a new product is uh, created in shopify it will be reflected as an item in zoho inventory not just these two apps you can integrate up plenty of applications using pabli connect if you have any queries contact us at admin at the rate pabli.com our dedicated team members will help you to automate your workflows or better, just visit our website www.pabli.com. It's awesome. Thanks.